Green Machine. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Welcome to my podcast, Cold Narratives. I'm your host, Iceberg Green. About to let y'all hear some of these cold narratives. Check it out. The Democratic Party, as I said, that I grew up idolizing is not the Democratic Party of today. It's about leading with humility and with honor versus the Democratic Party, which really for me has become the party of arrogance and entitlement. So I have to ask myself, who am I and what are my values? Hey, what's up with the Charles Iceberg Green in the building? Welcome to Cold Narratives. Uh, so today I'm going to break down how Senator Marie Alvarado Gill, uh, she switched sides from the Democrats to the Republicans. Um, and you know, it's 40 seats in um, the California State Senate. Um, 31 are Democrat and I believe nine are a Republican. With that being said, it'll be 10 Republican and 30 Democrat, which, you know, like I said, the Democrats run the House over here. So the reason why this is significant is because that's a big gap, you know, and um, they've been controlling the Senate here in California for a while. And the fact that this woman wanted to switch sides, you know, says a lot. And she, you know, she's been in office already two years and this is right before the election. Um, and that's pretty startling to me. And, you know, it should be concerning to a lot of people in California, like I said. So you can go to the California State Senate website and you'll see how many um, Democrat Democratic representatives we got. And they represent, I think it's like 100,000 people um, each district or something like that. I could be wrong, um, but based on the website, it'll tell you more. Um, and, you know, the website pretty much tells you why we don't get nothing done in uh, California. You can actually look at the website and be like, yeah, I see why don't nothing happen in California. And, um you know, in the Democratic Party. Um, and, you know, to say the least, the Republicans don't do nothing, but they only got nine seats. So it's kind of like hard to hold them accountable for only nine seats when we got 31. Uh, the accountability has to be more on those 31 seats. I haven't seen uh, anything like this since Obama when people were switching from um, Republicans to Democrats just because based on, you know. Um, but let me get to this content about Marie Alvarado Gill and why she switched sides. And I'll be back and we'll break this down. That is a very big announcement. Thursday on the Steve Hilton Show, a conservative YouTube series, Senator Marie Alvarado Gill made a surprising announcement. So I came to the realization after much reflection and um, prayer uh, that it is time for me to give up that D and to cross over to join my colleagues in the Republican caucus here in California. Wow. Alvarado Gill was first elected in 2022, defeating her then fellow Democratic opponent by more than five points after the two had bested six Republicans in the primary. Her constituents now have a Republican representing them in the state Senate for at least two more years. She's up for reelection in 2026. So you can call me a conspiracy theorist. I don't care. But I believe this woman um, decided to switch sides based on what's going on in these schools and a lot of stuff because she's in Modesto and she has um, two districts. And if you go to the website, you'll see how many different districts people control in the, um, in the house. So um, this this woman switched sides with only two seats. So it's not like she's going to make a big impact um, when she switched sides. But, you know, again, there's so much going on with the um, Democratic Party and how they try and to, um, you know, push these agendas and manipulate people. So that's one thing I don't agree with um, with the Democrats. And it's also a lot of stuff I don't agree with with the um, Republicans as well. But I have to vote based on policy. So if the Democrats have something in there, I'm going to vote for them. If the Republicans have something in there, I'm voting for policy. Um, I'm voting for uh, human rights when it comes to black hate crime bill. I'm fighting for reparations, just like other groups are fighting for what they're fighting for. I'm fighting for reparations. OK, um, but back to this, um, I, I'm, you know, I think that's why she may have said, OK, you know, I'm going to switch to the other side because they have different policies that I can agree with. Actually, she, they may have more. You know, they're not going to just switch sides. But there's some policies in there that they don't agree with. And they say, you know what, I'm going to go over here to the Republican side because they have more policies um, that I agree with, as opposed to what I came into, because she had been in there for two years. So that's a long time to, you know, sit and pray and make that decision, which she said she did. Um, but again, let me get to this content. This is a friend of hers. She has a Senate seat as well. And I can't remember how many districts she controls, but this lady was upset. She was disappointed that her fellow Democrats switched sides. And I can understand why. Yeah, because she, she had a few seats, but 
she ain't gonna miss them two seats. But anyway, listen to her, and I'll be back. Time with putting yourself out to the voters and and really living that for the first half of a four year term, uh, and then switching. And it's a little bit inexplicable timing. A couple months before a presidential election. Democratic Senator Angelique Ashby tells ABC 10 she's surprised and disappointed her colleagues switched parties. I thought she had a meaningful and impactful role in the majority party in the California state legislature, which is the honor of a lifetime. I'm not sure why you would walk away from that. Okay, so here goes somebody that y'all can get, you know, get off me. Uh, Cause they they switch sides right in me. I'm not switching. I'm just independent. But this lady switch sides. So go get in her DM. All you de- Democratic shields, go get in they her DM. All these people in my comments talking about uh, I'm a Republican. I'm this. I'm no. I'm independent. This lady's a Republican. Go get go get on her. Leave me alone and leave the people like me that think like me and protecting their votes alone. Go get on her. Because we ain't doing nothing to y'all. Everybody that's over here talking about reparations, we're not doing anyone, uh, we're not harming anyone by saying we want reparations in a black hate crime bill. Who are we harming by saying that? You uh, enact all these policies and immigration and all these uh, gender rules, you're harming people. Whether you want to believe it or not, you're harming people. And reparations in a black hate crime bill will make this world um seem like it's a democracy it'll be closer to it um equality and all the things that this uh, country preaches and we don't see on a day-to-day basis but uh again this is uh me with these cold narratives and uh marie uh alvarado gill hopefully that works out for you um yeah i hope you made the right decision but um i'm independent again and my decision is to protect my vote the Democratic Party, as I said, that I grew up idolizing is not the Democratic Party of today. It's about leading with humility and with honor versus the Democratic Party, which really for me has become the party of arrogance and entitlement. So I have to ask myself, who am I and what are my values? So so I'm going to just end on this note. The Democrats here in California, uh, with based on how many seats they have, they really don't make too much happen um, in California when it comes to these different districts. And if you go there, you'll see what different districts they control. And you can look at the policies in your district. Like, wait a minute. Now I understand why um, we still get red line. We put these people in positions of power and that's what we get. So again, I don't, you know, it's not surprising to see people say, you know, I'm tired of that. It's, you know, it's like a relationship you get in, you know, and they start switching up on you. Hey. Must have been a bad relationship. I'm Iceberg Green. I'm out. Green machine. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I also want to say God bless those going through the struggle. Make sure you watch out for them cold narratives that the government trying to push on us, y'all. To all my black people, I will be nothing without y'all. God bless you all.